Mr. Bale? Here. Mr. Copeland? Here. Mr. Drexel? Here. Mr. Showerman? Here. Mr. Scatella? Mr. Winarski? Here. Mr. Wharton? Here. All right. Uh, so we have the hearing of the, the public. Is anybody here to speak at all? I'm, I would like to speak. This is Freda Tepfer. Um, someone raised their hand right before you, Freda. Can I make you second? Is that okay? You bet. All right. Uh, I was at a, a women's League of Voters meeting uh, just recently, and one of our uh, representatives was questioning our process, the process of how we can trust our vote. So I was I'm just suggesting it was my it was my uh, representative, state representative. Okay. Uh, I'm suggesting that you formally invite some of these politicians, especially the ones that are still uh, election deniers. Come for the process. I'm a poll worker. I know the process pretty darn tight. It, it's, it is, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's everything. I, when I first went into it, I had no idea how complex it was being. So, uh, well, I didn't say my name. Can you read this down, please? Oh, sorry. Q H U G H McCarthy M-C-C-A-R-T N-E-Y, not McCarthy. So that's all I have to say. I think it would be good to invite some of these misinformed people to come see what the process is, to understand what goes on, you know, the day before, the day of, the weeks before, the training that goes on. Um, without that, you're going to be able to, they're going to be able to go, well, I, I just don't trust it. But if they're there, see it, it's going to be harder for them to say they don't trust. And I would film it, I would video it, and, and I would make it public who didn't show up. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Um, Greta? Hi, um, I'm also a poll worker. I'm a judge of elections in the 6th Ward, 17th District. And there's just a couple of things that are floating around out there that have to do with mail-in ballots and polling places. Um, one is a possible, I don't know if it's a bill or something that the county is proposing. And then there's this lawsuit that's out there. I just want to say, if there is any discretion on the part of the county, whether they want to change, whether, whether if I know there are people who would like to be able to turn in their absent, their mail-in ballots at the polls, and maybe that could work. I'm a little resistant to change somehow sometimes, but I, I am happy with the electronic poll books after all. But my concern is, if if there's one more thing that I have to account for and one more set of seals and one more set of ballots and one more set of envelopes and three more forms, it's hard enough to close the polls. So if if there's any discretion about on the part of the county over whether or not mail-in ballots will ever be collected at the polling places please make sure that you have the whole process thought out before you impose it upon us poll workers. That's all I wanted to say. Amen. Thank you. And thank you, friend. Is there anybody else that would like to comment? Uh, we've been on oh, three times. Hmm? Three times. Oh, three times? Yeah. Does anyone else like to comment? Anyone else? All right. All right. I move um, that the minutes be accepted for the meetings June, September, September, November, and January 2024. I move that those minutes be accepted. Second. Second. All right. Moving on.
So we gotta go on that. Oh, we gotta vote on that. Mr. Copeland. Yes. Mr. Drexel. Yes. Mrs. Showerman. Yes. Mr. Winarski. Yes. Mr. Bale. Yes. Chairman Horton. Yes. That motion carries six zero. So am I going through each one of these? I believe the time would be reporting on these items. Okay. All right, so let's come to the election report. Is that um, as of today, there are 173,439 registered voters in Erie County. Of those, 80,014 are registered with the Democratic Party and 67,898 are registered with the Republican Party. In preparation for the upcoming presidential primary, our office has processed 14,565 mail ballot applications. Today is the last day for our office to receive nomination petitions for local Republican committee members to be placed on the ballot. We plan to conduct the, the ballot lottery on February 21st at 9 a.m. here in room 114A. Logic and accuracy testing of voting equipment is scheduled for March 18th. Once the ballots have been tested and approved, we will begin mailing them and expect them to start hitting mailboxes the first week in April. Poll worker training is scheduled for the week of March 25th. We look forward to including qualified student poll workers throughout the county. Um, and I'll keep you all informed. All right, thank you. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, just a, an addendum or question for Tanya and Karen, or just an observation. Uh, April 8th is the last day to register uh, to be able to vote in the primary, but that's also the day that uh, the solar eclipse in all of Pennsylvania will be. And so I don't know if there's a question to be asked. Is there an extension date or has any guidance or direction come down or should we seek some? I can speak to that. I did reach out and I spoke with Jonathan Marks from the Department of State and he has uh, put that forward to the Secretary of the State and their legal counsel to determine whether or not we should have any extension or if we're going to um, continue to leave that day open for people to report to the courthouse. Um, at this point, there's no security at the courthouse. There's not going to be a sheriff's department available. Uh, there's going to be traffic concerns, emergency concerns uh, with, with uh, the congestion in the city. So we are reaching out. I've also reached out to Pima just for any directives uh, from that end. So I will hopefully have some information to report, but I have reached out to the appropriate officials. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Choka. Any other questions or comments from the board? We have a few other items on the under the election report. Under the election report? Mm -hmm. Oh, so she's reporting equipment upgrades. So um, for election reporting, also we've been considering some software for the election night reporting. And we've narrowed that down to a company that is pretty familiar with this process. And they have a number of um, high profile clients throughout the country. And this is a Skydol company. We're working with our IT department who will uh, you know, help that evening with the election night reporting as they always do. It looks like you have uh, probably do like a three-year contract that would not be covered under our Act 88 funds, but because we're able to cover some of our other uh, expenses through the Act 88, we would to cover this. Uh, there's also, so it's a nice spread on your computers that you can look and see very clearly who's ahead, what the numbers look like at the polls that evening. There's also a mobile version, so wherever you're at, it's pretty, it'll be pretty easy to follow along on election night this year. Okay. So we're looking to move forward on that. Uh, as far as the equipment upgrades, we are looking to use some F88 fund for the purchase of two new scanners. We have a nice new scanner um, currently. We have one that we were using as a backup scanner for any recounts. Uh, we would like to add to that. So we have a total of three of the same model number. 
um, that purchase price is going to roughly be with the service contract and everything around sixty thousand dollars for the two scanners. Um, what that means is the two older scan scanners that we have that would move to um, do our redundancy for the recounts. So if there's anyone that's requesting the recounts, uh, we have to have a different make and model of a scanner to be able to do the recount. So it's not the same equipment, but um, all of the equipment. Oh, all of the equipment would be tested through logic and accuracy. Um, so now this will this will help with the number of ballots that we have, the mail-in ballots and that volume increasing. This will help expedite some of that process on election night, election day. Um, warehouse storage, we're looking to make some improvements there because we are limited on our space with the number of scanners, ballot marking devices, and items currently in the warehouse. So I do have some dates and times available if anyone wants to meet down at the warehouse this week. Can we decide that now or, or we'll talk about that later? Do you have a specific time picked out yet or we just so uh, we're pretty flexible. We did have a meeting scheduled for Friday at 10 o'clock for a normal elections meeting, or if you want to do it Wednesday or Thursday, Jim's also available down at the warehouse any finish of the time this week. Okay. Sure. Okay. Tanya talked about the student poll worker program. Uh, we just launched that today. We had a couple of the people in the election office present a team's meeting to some of the school officials, and we're hoping to get some support from the student poll workers. There will be a cost associated with that. If we're at full capacity, I think that number looks like it's around $23,000, but we do have um, the integrity grant, which also provides that we can pay our full workers with that money as well. We don't expect to be at full capacity. This is the first year launching that, but we are hoping to get some engagement at that level. Okay. Any, any other? Yeah, you know, with motion that we move to executive session to discuss uh, some issues with the solicitor. Okay. Move uh, make a motion to move to uh, to be a second for that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, second. Okay. We're going to everybody else has got a go program. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. kicking you all out. I was uh, pleased and Angie today, the days that they had their uh, organizational meeting for uh, the school board. Yeah. They elected her as a temporary yeah. chair of that first meeting in the first five minutes. Sure. I have to, I still have everybody, so hold on one second. She had uh, Oh, I gotta do a little bit. Oh, yeah, this looks like yep. Okay. Yeah, we're setting up us to cover everything under it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. Do you want me to see if any of that one all? Uh, and then they want to hear my motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay. Motion to adjourn. We need to, is there anybody in the way with our all other Yeah. We have the public. No, right. Do I need a second yeah. for that? No. Session. Adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Thank you very much for coming. Broadcast <laughs> here, right? Yeah. Yep. Let's have it on.